the cookie and today i am here with another episode of possibly magical now last where we left off we got my sister's help and my mother's help well more of my sister's help but mom was there too so i'm counting her uh de with defeating the boss battle that we couldn't yet and now we have to go collect some storm battery pieces from around the place and bring them back hopefully that's the hardest boss battle this level but we did level up we got to i think it's level 17 level 17 we hit level 17 which is pretty cool and yeah so now we're gonna go around and find some storm battery pieces and see how many of those we can find and hopefully we find them with little to no trouble i don't know how easy that's gonna be Ooh, stone bricks i'm gonna collect those because we might need them later and we also got a sandstone Cool, alrighty. So, there's one in the middle there. I don't feel like risking that, because... Well, the river claw guards in here aren't that difficult, but still, I don't feel like risking it. So, we're going to just move on and stick to the ones that are around the edge. So, if I go around this way, it appears I will catch two of them, which is cool. Boom! Got one of five. There we go. Boop. Two of five. Awesome. Apparently, if I go around this way, I'm going to catch more. It seems. It seems like that's how this is working. Uh, hopefully it is. Um, Alright, we just need three more. There's one... Oh, I don't want to risk that. I do not want to risk that. So we're going to keep it slow and steady, moving around this way. And we're going to head over to that one from over here. Strategy grab that storm battery piece and now we're also gonna grab that kelp just in case we end up needing it because I I honestly have no idea what we're gonna do when we run out of crowns we're probably gonna get into crafting we're probably going to get into uh, leveling up Jasper over here just like you know stuff like that to you know just keep the content going because I don't want to go on another really long hiatus type thing like we did last time because you know, it was sad. I missed wizard. I, like, needed more wizard stuff in my life. So, let's head back. Sorry for that jump cut there, but... Alright, we got three, and now on the way back we should be able to grab two more. So, oh! Or... Or, that was it. Did we get two storm battery pieces from one little thing? Because if so, I enjoy that glitch. That is a... That glitch is one that is much appreciated, and... <laughs> I I appreciate being able to exploit that. So, we're just going to head over here. Hopefully not get snagged by these guys. And we're going to head on past and right back to Mr. Dr. Zygmunt. Dr. Zygmunt. That sounds like a very British name to me. Dr. Zygmunt. Speaking of British, um, by the time this goes up, I am in London right now. So... That is pretty awesome, hopefully. If I remember to upload them properly, unlike when I did in Tennessee and then I didn't have videos up for a week. Basically, this weekend I'm filming 12 videos. Four for the week ahead of me, four for the week in London, and four for the week after because I'm not going to have time to record on the week after. Cause, and I'm probably going to be really tired by the time I go back there. So, yeah, I am filming 12 videos this week, and by the time- this is my second wizard episode I've, I'm filming, so this should be up the week I am in London, which is pretty cool. I'm excited for London, man. There's so many- so much stuff there to see. I am so hyped. Also, I may or may not be kind of hoping that I run into Dan and Phil, if they're still there, because they're going to Australia sometime on the 12th of August. Basically, I'm just praying that I run into- a, a British YouTuber I like, because that would be that would make the trip, honestly. But anyway, hi. Good work finding the broken pieces. Unfortunately, I accidentally fed some of the lightning seeds to the telluric eels. Of course you did. It was an experiment. <laughs> Besides, they really liked them, though it did make them more aggressive. Mm -hmm. Strike that. Move on. <laughs> you must defeat the telluric eels and recover the lightning seeds. Onward for science. 
At least I only need one. <laughs> that that's okay. I'm okay since I only need I only need one. I only need one of them. I can handle that. I can handle that. Hopefully we'll get it in our first battle. Because that would be really nice if we only had to do this one time. And we have more health and more mana now, so hopefully we'll be able to last a little longer. Hi. Yep. So the doctor says you got some seeds in you, and um, I'm just going to need to remove those by punching you a lot. If you could just allow me to punch you a bunch until I grab those seeds, that would be excellent. No? No, you're going to fight back? Okay. Okay, so that's the route we're going here. All right, I could have been peaceful, but you know what? Now you've made me mad, so peace is out the door. Okay. Literally, some guy called Peace just decided to walk out the door. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why he just like left. He's like, oh, I'm out. Th th they're not being. They're not. They're not. They're fighting back. Oh well, then I'm out. Said, this is the stupidest joke I have ever made. Let's move on. <laughs> um, let's throw a sunbird. Should we throw a sunbird? Yeah, let's throw a sunbird. Kill one of these guys better off that way just killing one awesome he fizzled okay this is going well i think i think it's because the boss in the last room threw really powerful spells so yeah that was an issue but the sunbird went through meaning he is dead and i can just deal with one one is easy i can deal with one easy but um all right let's save up for a vampire that would be pretty neato that would be pretty neato. Alright, I keep forgetting that death is not my main, my main school here. Because on my other wizard, uh, my main school is death. And my secondary school is fire. So I keep thinking that my secondary school is fire. And I... Uh, and that I should be using more death spells. But nope, nope, that's... I'm just being stupid. That's just me being dumb. Alright, let's... Let's throw this thing and just kill him. I, I'd rather kill him. I'd rather get rid of him than than save up for a vampire, honestly. Or I could fizzle. That That's fine, too. I guess. Alright. Let's... Let's heal. That's probably the smartest move here. 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 Is to just heal. Get some points back while I'm saving up for a decent spell. There we go, and now we're back up to... I think that's almost full health. Yeah, that's almost full health. And... Hmm. Um, let's actually save up for the vampire, because I want to try it. See how well it does. And it gives back 175 health points, so... Whatever damage we take from here will be nulled by the time we get to Mr. Vampire. Mr. Vampy Boy. I'm gonna call him Vampy Boy. Mr. Vampy Boy. That's his name now. Yeah. Vampy Boy. That's so weird. I... Half the time, I just don't know what I'm saying anymore. Like, I'm just like, you know... What if... My brain's just like, what if you went on this tangent about calling somebody Vampy Boy? And I'm like, you know what? I don't, I don't really think that's a good idea. And my brain's like, no. No, that's a perfect idea. Let's continue with this. Ooh, vampire spell. Okay. Boom. And take 300 health away from him and effectively kill him. And give me back the health I lost. Boom. That is how you do it. Did I do it? Yay, I did it. Ooh. Oh, I thought the one I had on was the one I was being given. So, yeah, that was, that is actually not as impressive as it looks. So, we're going to... Continue here. At least that only took one battle. That makes me really happy that that only took one battle. I would have been so sad if I needed like seven of those things. Okay. Splendid! All? Now we have everything we need to make the world safe. For science! I mean, <laughs> get things back to normal! Okay. Now that we have the pieces of the storm batteries and the lightning seeds, it is a simple matter to put it all together. Okay. 
I will monitor the flow from this position and set to while you engineer the repair. All right. Yeah, you just put the pieces where you think they should go, and then I'll turn on the current. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? A lot of things. A, a lot of things could go wrong. Like, multiple things could go very wrong with that plan. The storm batteries look like they have been restored to working order. I did it! <laughs> I don't know how I did that, considering I know, like, nothing about science. Okay. Very good, my young scientist. Or, <clears throat> wizard. <laughs> the telluric eel should no longer be a problem. The storm batteries are fixed. Okay. You should go fetch back the king now. Alrighty then. Awesome. Let's go talk to the king and be like, Hey man, you want to come back to the, uh, the kingdom? Please? That would be nice. We could fix this whole issue. Yes? You again? You want to go home? What's the rush? We have all the time in the spiral. Um. You fixed the storm batteries? And put the super smart science guy in his place, did you? All's well, I suppose. I guess. Oh! I forgot that my kingdom's been taken over by an imposter! My old rival, King Amadeo of the Riverclaw. Okay. If only you had my royal seal. What's that? You do? Oh, wonderful! <laughs> Convenience! Okay. My royal seal will allow you to get into the royal tower, past the guards. Alright. So am I defeating him now? Is this, is this what we're doing? I'm gonna head back and I'm gonna defeat the big baddie who like ruined the kingdom is that what we're doing like not the actual king but just some random wizard kid seriously why do they just send a random wizard kid to do all their stuff like that that seems really stupid honestly you have guards send the guards although clearly they're not very good at their job considering you know how they uh let a guy to overtake the entire kingdom and nobody seemed to have noticed except for the cook the cook noticed. No one else did. Just the cook. Because logic. There are sidewalks in the actual crab alley, so venturing there will be a lot easier and a lot less stressful for me, which is very nice. I appreciate that. I appreciate sidewalks. You never realize how much you appreciate sidewalks until you get to, until you start playing Wizard World 1, like, and you get to the later levels where there are no sidewalks, you're suddenly like, oh, a sidewalk. Thank God. <laughs> oh, man. The worst place for that is Marleybone. Like, dear God, Marleybone is a mess. Mmm, the royal seal, huh? Of course, go right in. I wasn't expecting that. That made me jump a little. <laughs> All right, we're going to talk to King Amadeo, are we? Awesome. So are we just going to talk it out, or are we going to fight? Because either way, I'm probably not going to be very good. Uh, well, I did level up, so I did get some extra health, so that's definitely nice. And by doing- this, uh, world isn't actually- this, uh, street isn't actually a requirement for the game, so I'm actually gonna be heading into Crocotopia with more points than I need, which is definitely nice. Um, it'll give me a leg up. Hi! Ah! It is my favorite procure of tea and crumpets. Did you bring me more fine delectables? What?! You dare to call me King Amadeo, I mean- King Zeminor? An imposter? Yeah, because you are. How disrespectful. Yep, I know. Wait a moment! You are no simple baker of tasty pastries, are you? You stand revealed as a wizard of Wizard City. Yeah, that's the city we're in, and I think you would I think you should have gotten that by the fact that I'm holding a wand. Very well, young wizard. You may have seen through my disguise, but you won't leave the royal tower alive. Okay. Oh, thank God it's just him. All right. I can handle just you. <laughs> okay. It's only one dude. I can totally handle this. <laughs> 385? Yeah. Yeah. I can handle you. <laughs> what? Well, now I'm going to die. Now that I've acted all confident and cocky, now I'm definitely going to die. So, that's great. Okay. He's putting something on himself. That's minus myth. I don't know if you've noticed... But I don't really have any myth spells, my friend. So, that's kind of pointless putting that on you. I think I'm about to kill him. Because I can throw a banshee next round. I think I'm legitimately go going to kill him. This is great. 
It's easy. Oh, oh, it storms. Oh, I'm so frightened. Dude, if you had minions, I'd be scared of you. But right now, like, really? Really? It's just you? You're a rank two boss. Like, sir. Man. Okay, that one, he's dead. <laughs> that was three rounds. Oh, okay. It's gonna be four rounds. But you know what? I'm about to kill him because he just passed. You just delivered your own death blow, sir. Because you passed. This is hilarious. This is hilarious. This is a boss fight? Are you kidding me? Well, actually, it's a pretty competent boss fight for people who have lower levels, but... Oh, I am undone! To be defeated in such a strange and foreign land. For shame. Uh, yeah. You, you weren't that powerful, man. I'm... I'm kind of surprised you didn't expect this to happen. Hey, King's back! Yeah! Awesome. Oh, bravo! Very well done, young wizard. Yay. The resemblance was uncanny. How did you ever tell that King Amadeo had replaced me? Um, he was kind of a lot bigger. Catherine? So it was a simple cook who helped you see through the imposter's disguise. I always liked Catherine. I ship it! I know! I will let her know how much she means to me. Oh god, she's got a faint. We will write her a poem, and you, you will read it to her. What? Oh, how romantic. What? Go to my writing desk and craft a poem expressing my gratitude. Then go read it to my dear sweet Catherine. Make haste! Well, I am a writer, so I guess... Yeah, that is probably... I am probably the best person to ask in this room, honestly. So... Yeah, even though I'm not really good at sappy love stuff. Um, I'll try. I think I did it, but I think from now on I'm just repairing a relationship in this in this street, and then we're done. And then we next episode we can move on to Crocotopia, which is gonna be so awesome. Unless we have another quest in Wizard City, because I like defeating the entirety of like every world and every street before moving on to the next world. So, yeah, that's going to be a problem once we get to Grizzleheim, considering the fact that Grizzleheim, you're supposed to leave <laughs> and level up and come back, but I'm I'm really bad at that, so probably we're probably going to die a lot in Grizzleheim. But anyway, hi Catherine. I I wrote this poem. Um the king no, not me. The king wrote this poem. Yep. Mhm. Mm you did it. How is King Thermidor? I pray he's not too shaken up by his ordeal. Mom, it's just my bull. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I always think of those stupid, um, like, brave memes every time I see... <laughs> every time I hear her voice, I just think of the stupid Merida memes. <laughs> okay, let's move on. A poem? For me? <gasps> Oh, yes, yes. Please, read it aloud. Okay. You take out the poem and begin to read. What, what is the poem? Oh, in my darkest oh. times away from this place, you were my light, my beacon, my grace. Why is the King Thermidor saying this? I wrote this. Though I paid you no heed, you stayed loyal in time of need. Okay, this is actually a really bad poem. Your claws how dainty as they mold your sweet tart. Your kindness has cracked. This crab shell apart. Okay, well, it's not bad. It's just really cliche and cheesy. Like, if we put this through a writing workshop, this would get torn apart. Yeah. That was lovely. Please show the king my deepest gratitude. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would be ripped apart in... Workshop. Just saying. Just saying, man. You could... My wizard needs to up their writing skills. Like... Dude. Wizard. Wizard. Bryn. What, what is her name? What did I... What did I name this wizard? Bryn Ashflame. Yeah. Bryn, man. You, you really need to up your writing skills, dude. Like... You... You were made by an actual writer who goes to school for this. You're, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> you're embarrassing me, Bryn. You're, you're an embarrassment to this family. Is this a family? I don't know. I don't know. It's, I just, I just... Oh my god. And the brain, the brain fart strikes again. Okay. My, my brain tends to fart a lot during videos, I've noticed. Just like, pfft. 
I just go off on random tangents that mean literally nothing. Hi! So Catherine liked the very cliche bad poem. Oh, she liked the poem! That's what I said. I am so, so happy. Thank you so much. Uh, I cannot thank you enough. You saved me and restored me to my throne. I could write you a poem. Okay. But wait, there is no time. You should return up above and tell the Homer Sunblade that the storm batteries are repaired. We will make sure the river claws do not damage them further. Yeah, because you did such a great job of that last time. Um, <laughs> but okay. And that, I believe, is the end of Crab Alley. So we're going to run up and tell Sahomer Sunblade that uh, Crab Alley's all fixed. And then, once we do that, I think we will end this episode here. And we will move on to Crocotopia next episode. Unless we'll check our quest to make sure we don't have anything left. And I almost just ran straight out into the street because I pressed the wrong button. Oh man, that would have been bad. <laughs> Sudden last battle in Crab Alley. Alrighty. We can finally go and breathe some air, which we haven't done in a while in the series. Well, we went to the commons the other time to beg for help. But you know what? That doesn't count because... Oh, who am I kidding? It counts. Let's head up to So Homer Sunblade and tell him, Hey, man, we, we fixed Crab Alley for you. We did it all by ourselves. It was all us. Yeah, hi. You're back. <laughs> it looks like you were successful. The store mill is back in business. I hope you didn't run into any trouble. What's that? A tale of two kings? A mad scientist? Crabs writing poetry? Well, that's quite an adventure you had, young wizard. Yep. That was great. All right. Rockin' outfit. What? I don't think we can... S it, no auction means we can't sell it, right? Oh, my God. It gave us merchandise of the king. Wow. Um. Okay. Uh, that's something. Let's see what other quests we have. Nope! We just have to talk to Bartleby, which means next episode, we will be talking to Bartleby and headed straight for Crocotopia. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Wizard 101. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I had to say. Stay strong while I'm gone. Bye! I'm gonna talk to you. And we like to